well, why are you drinking hot chocolate? You know it's April 10th, right? Let me tell you something. So two days ago, it was summer, there was grass, we had no snow. She decides today to snow. And I mean snow, snow, like wet snow. Not the kind of powdery snow that comes in the spring and then just leaves, no. Um, let me show y'all. Okay, I know y'all can't tell, but it's still snowing. This is all today's snow. None of this was yesterday, none of this the day before, no. This started today at like 10. Right now it's like 2. So, yeah, it's it's just been snowing and snowing and snowing and snowing and yeah. <laughs> You guys saw the title. You know what we're doing today. Let's just get on with it. So, it says my diary on the cover. How fun. So this is January 31st, 2013. So this is six years ago? Yeah. Dear diary, at school, a boy named Lucklin keeps telling me I am annoying. I know I'm not. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know I'm not. Okay. All right. One time he said to me, the president, Barack Obama, declares Noel is officially weird and annoying. I think he has a crush on me. Wow. This is, this is some really good content right here. Ooh, look at this. Uh, this is me writing about my friends. Maddie and Ellie are so obsessed with Animal Jam that they won't play with anybody. I'm bored out of my mind because they won't play with me. Y'all remember when Animal Jam was like the biggest thing ever? And, like, it, everyone loved it, and everyone played- I mean, maybe that was just where I live, and whatever, but yeah, I don't know. That, that was the thing. That was- that was the thing. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, Dear Diary, Well, I finally figured out what to do with this diary, since I already have another one. I'm going to turn this thing into an advice for self journal. Ooh. I am 12 now. This was only four years ago. What? <laughs> okay. And I figure when I'm a mom, I should know what kids like. So I'm gonna do myself a favor by writing this journal. Hope it helps in the future. What did I write? I'm scared. Oh wow. Oh, this is good. Don't worry about violence video games. Well, I mean like this. Let your kids play E and E10 and up rated video games and the occasional teen rated ones once you have reviewed them. Like Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh gosh, Super Smash Bros. was my life. I still love that game. But don't let them play mature rated games till like 15 years old. Okay, okay younger me. Let your kids read what they want. But ask them what the book is about often to know if it is appropriate for their age level. I I was not that rebellious of a child. And like looking back I really wasn't. I still I still am not. Um I'm actually encouraging my parents to talk to me about what I'm reading. That's that's new. That's interesting. There's there's not really a whole lot of juice in here. I kind of have a feeling there will be more in this. Ooh, I forgot about this. So in this specific diary, there's like a pocket. Oh, it's got like, so I kept these different Valentines from like different guys that I liked or whatever. Look at this. You are a great friend, Valentine. Me getting friend zoned in like the sixth grade. <laughs> That's funny. October 17th, 2014. So this is five years ago. All right, dear diary, last night was quite possibly the weirdest day of my life. A couple of weeks ago, I met a guy named Chase Coger at the primetime event of Water Wars. Oh, preteen event. Okay, yes. So, um, w w at my church, we separate into like different like age groups and different levels. So we had like a water war day for the preteens, which is like in fifth and sixth grade. It's like a water fight with like squirt guns and all sorts of water balloons and stuff. So yeah, so that's what that is. Back to the story. And he didn't just like me, he loved me. All right, Noel, strong language. Okay, whatever. Anyway, last night I saw him again. 
We played Blob, a game where if you tag someone, you have to hold their hand. We know. <laughs> so that they became a part of the Blob. Well, I tagged Chase, and so I had to hold his hand. After that, when we watched the movie... Oh, uh, yeah. So there were two separate times that I saw this guy. I only met this guy twice. And so the second time was like another event at the church where we watched like a movie outside with like a projector on the building and whatever. And so I this is like a continuation of another story that I'm not going to get into because it's long and probably pretty boring. Um, so, yeah, let's just continue with this. He told me he was going to get some lemonade and asked me if I wanted any. He was literally, I spelled literally L-I-T-T-E-R-A-L-Y. Literally. L literally. <laughs> Waiting on my hand and foot. He looked at me like none other. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I felt so weird and, well, a mixture of different feelings. Really, I was just amazed a guy would pick me. Okay, okay. self-confidence was not very good back then, apparently. Alright. How I met Chase in the first place was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, so I am going to go into detail about this. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's keep going. There are these kids that go to my church... Isaac and Molly. Chase just so happens to be Isaac's best friend. So Isaac invited Chase to a water fight party at our church. When I first saw Chase, he asked me if I was Russian or German because he is a little German and Isaac is a little Russian. And I go, <laughs> wait, I mean, seriously? That's the first thing he says to me? Anyway, before the water fight, he asked me if I wanted to be on his team. I said yes. Later on, during the water fight, he kept asking me if I needed a refill on my gun. Then he was telling me he would be my human bodyguard. I do remember that. That, that, was, that, was, that was a real one. Yes. Then, standing in line to play a water game, I heard very clearly Isaac whisper to Chase, Oh, don't think she's too hot because you'll never see her again. Okay. That, that's, that's real good. Okay. December 13th, 2014. So I'm around the same age, 6th grade. Dear Diary, Yesterday, I went to Katie's house for a sleepover. It was the best slumber party ever. It was Katie's birthday, and she had gotten blue highlights. She invited me and Emma over, and we played many rounds of Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare was life back then. Truth or Dare was the best. Like, what, what else are you going to do at a sleepover? I mean, come on. Oh, most of the truths and dares included Jeremiah, the hottest, cutest guy ever. Oh, word. Okay. Then someone texted Katie, hi. She didn't know who it was, but texted back anyway. I joined in the fun and asked Katie for the person's number, and I texted, it's me, babe. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I remember this now. And I love you. <laughs> love spelled L-U-V because that's what we do in texting. Then he sent a text saying his name was Jeremiah. Oh no. I texted him an apology and then found out that it had been Katie's older brother, Johnny, the entire time. After that, we watched the movie Narnia. That was an abrupt ending. Come on. We want more juice, Noel. Yeah, that reminds me of another thing. Katie's brother, Johnny. One time, Katie and I were like talking and just like hanging out and whatever. And again, Johnny, being the interfering individual that he was, would um, hide in her closet and just like listen to us talk about stuff. And yeah, it was it was very interesting. Yep, that happened. Well, thank you guys so much for taking a trip with me down memory lane. I highly, highly, highly encourage you if you're not already to start journaling because it is really fun to like be able to look back and see your thoughts, your emotions, whatever, even if it is just like the stupid stuff that I read off. And obviously there's like more in there that I'm not going to share on the internet. You know, have a fantabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.